Good morning. Today is Sunday, October 29th. My name is Jillian Major, and I'm a teacher here at First Congregational Church, United Church of Christ in Muskegon, Michigan. I'll be reading a story from the Progressive Christianity Curriculum, which First Congregational Church has purchased, but we do not own the copyrights to. We're in week number eight, and our affirmation is, my heart holds the truth, my voice speaks the truth, and my life shares the truth. Our story is called The Gardener, which is an adaptation of a Chinese folktale. Lian was only eight years old, but she was famous in her village for her skill with plants. Under her care, flowers and vegetables grew strong and healthy. When she wasn't in school or helping her parents, Lian was tending to the plants. Sometimes she was in her own garden, but she was often in the other village gardens, helping to make sure the flowers were abundant and the vegetables were plentiful. Lian had heard stories of the most famous gardens in the land, the imperial gardens at the emperor's place, but she never expected to see them. Now she was amazed to find herself traveling in a fine royal coach with many others on her way to see the emperor's gardens. The emperors had asked that the best gardener from each village come to the palace and tour the large and beautiful royal gardens. Lian was one of hundreds chosen to make the journey, and she was the youngest of them all. Once they had toured the gardens with the, within the palace walls, everyone gathered in the courtyard to be greeted by the emperor. Lian's head was full of the incredible sights she had seen. Flowers of every color and shape, vegetable gardens and fruit orchards filled with such variety that it would take years to study them all, and healing plants and herbs that were used to treat diseases she had never heard of. She was so busy with her thoughts, she almost missed what the emperor had to say. The Grand Royal Gardener, who is also my good friend, wants to train an apprentice who will someday take on his duties of overseeing the care of all of the Imperial Gardens. Therefore, there will be a contest to see who can grow the healthiest and most beautiful plant from the seed you are given. You all must return to the palace in six months with your plant and a decision will be made. This is more than a test of gardening skill. It is an opportunity of a lifetime. Remember that. The Emperor then turned and left the courtyard. When Lian returned home with the seed she had been given, she carefully planted it in a big pot with her best soil and put it in the center of her garden. For the next six months, she tended to that pot with more attention and care than she had ever given any plant. She checked the pot every morning and every evening, looking closely for any little sprout coming out of the dark earth. She moved the pot into the sun, hoping that would help. Then she thought it might need to be cooler, so she moved it into the shade. She watered it and encouraged it to grow in a soft, gentle voice. But her efforts were in vain. The seed never grew. When it came time to return to the palace, Lian's pot was empty. Her parents said, you did the best you could. We know it is difficult, but you must go back even if you don't have anything to show. Lian thought of all of the other gardeners showing their beautiful plants to the emperor, and she thought of her empty pot. It was an awful thought. Her cousin said, Lian, no one will know if you take another plant. You have grown many plants from seeds. Show the emperor one of those. It won't really be a lie. Her friends at school said, you can't show the emperor an empty pot. It would be a disgrace for the whole village. It won't hurt anyone if you take another plant. You are a very good gardener, that's the truth. Lian had to decide what to do. When all of the gardeners gathered in the imperial courtyard once again, Lian could see hundreds of pots all around her, each one holding a beautiful, healthy plant. The pot in front of Lian held only dirt. The emperor and the grand royal gardener walked among all the pots. They were silent as they inspected the variety of lush greenery. When they came to Lian, they paused. The emperor looked at the grand royal gardener and, looked, and he looked back at the emperor. Then the gardener picked up Lian's pot and the emperor beckoned Lian to follow him to the center of the courtyard. She followed, her heart beating fast. What would the emperor do to her in front of all of these people? She was stunned to hear him address the crowd, saying, Behold, the new apprentice has been chosen. All of you are excellent gardeners, that is clear. But the plants here were not the result of the seeds I gave you. The seeds you were given were baked in an oven and could not grow. I knew you all had great skill, but the royal, royal gardener must first be someone I can trust. Lian felt shy as everyone stared at her in the empty pot. She smiled, though, as she thought of all the flowers and fruit she would grow in the royal gardens to share with all.